Hello, welcome to South Today. I'm Sally Taylor. In tonight's programme, diagnosed with dementia at 58, the couple now pushing for greater awareness of how Alzheimer's affects younger people. I liken the disease as a river meandering towards the sea. Slowly but surely, it's stealing the person from me. It's called young onset dementia and can take people at the height of their most healthy and productive years. The charity Dementia UK is raising awareness of the warning signs of the condition in younger people. Dementia is classed as young onset when it affects people aged between 30 and 65. More than 40,000 people in the UK are living with this type of dementia, and that's about 5% of all diagnosed cases of dementia. Bryony Leyland has been talking to the Page family from Brockenhurst about their experience. The voice belongs to Jeremy Page, the recording made before dementia took hold six years ago, when he was just 58. Once a leading light on the stage with his wife Josephine, the advance of Alzheimer's disease has taken away Jeremy's ability to read and to manage other everyday tasks. I mean, I do accept that in old age, these diseases kick in. If he was 84, I'd say this is totally as it should be. We should be traveling, we should be gardening together. He should be whizzing off and doing singing and directing and not the person he is now, which is that he can't go anywhere in the village on his own anymore. He can do very little around the house anymore. He can't make a cup of tea or... Oh, don't be cancer, of course I can. Goody, we're going to have an argument on <laughs> television. It had to have <laughs> happen at some point. <laughs> when he began to struggle with his day job in the civil service, Jeremy was first thought to be suffering from depression but a specialist recognised his symptoms, which included poor concentration, as early-onset Alzheimer's. It's a diagnosis the couple have confronted with bravery and humour. We just had to face that fact. She then said, go out for a very boozy lunch. <laughs> which, <laughs> which we, we did. did. <laughs> <laughs> and I cried and he said, he was very, you've always been amazingly philosophical about it. Well, you can't change history, can you? No, but you can be angry and upset and why me well, and all that? because everyone has to go of something. Jeremy told me his only regret is that his condition puts a strain on Josephine. Because he isn't there anymore in a lot of ways. I know he still is a lot too, but in a lot of ways it's so different. And it's frustrating, I lose my temper, I cry. But we do have a lot of fun times as well. We don't give up on life. To know, know, know him is to love, love, love him. Jeremy can no longer bring many words to their singing, but he can still add his voice as he and Josephine make music and continue their journey together. Josephine and Jeremy Page talking candidly about their experiences with dementia. Earlier I spoke to Anna Eden from Young Dementia UK and she began by explaining why it's so important to get early diagnosis. I think it's really important. I think a lot of people stay at home and don't go and have things checked out because they're scared. Um, understandably, but it may be that there are all sorts of other causes for memory loss or confusion. And it's important to get that checked out with the doctor. Um, it may be about anxiety and stress, or it may be about another organic issue going on. So really important to have it checked out and to get to see the neurologist um, who will make a definite diagnosis. I mean, when people are in their 50s and 60s, you know, people look forward to a bit of freedom, they look forward to retirement. This must come as a huge shock, particularly as we identify dementia with the older generation in their 80s, 90s. I think it's always a shock and most people don't know anybody else who has this condition. 
Um, many people in their 50s and 60s are looking after their children who are maybe at school still or at college. They may have financial responsibilities, mortgages, maybe looking after their own parents and of course will be looking forward to a, a full retirement. Um, and so it does come as a huge blow. For some people who have been worried about the diagnosis and it can be a relief but um, it is always a challenge. How much of a stigma is there attached to this? I remember one person saying to me that they had lost 70% of their friends on the point of diagnosis. So I think a lot of people are very nervous about telling people that they have this condition, um, that very often other people don't know how to respond. So I think there still is a huge stigma. The images of people with, di with dementia are, are very negative and yet there are lots of people living very well full lives with dementia, giving talks, making public presentations, going on travels, doing what they want to do. Anna Eden, thank you so much.